someone, I feel like I will never find happiness in lay life and I'm very depressed. Is this a sign for me to become a monk? You don't need a sign to become a monk. Just become a monk. There's no... There's, if 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 you ha if you're not tied down to anything, just become a monk. There's nothing else. There's nothing better that you could do. <laughs> of course, you'll never find happiness in lay life. There's no happiness to be found. Is that, uh, <laughs> is that going to turn people off? I don't know. But uh, I have to, you know, you think you just have to get to that, that if you have the, if you're not afraid of being, of ordain, ordaining and you don't have burdens that are keeping you from ordaining, then I don't see the, a reason not to. Worst, you'll just die on the street or something. Very good karma to give up everything. It would it would certainly fix your depression. I don't know about that. It depends because sometimes you go to the monastery and realize how depressing it is, how depressing Buddhism has become. Monasteries can be modern monasteries can be a little bit depressing as well. But the monk's life is not depressing. No, I think that's not true because you have the monk's life. Monk's life is not depressing. It's wonderfully liberating. You're so in control of your own destiny. Nothing can please you. Maybe you don't eat for a day. It's inconsequential. Maybe you don't have soap or toothbrush. Maybe you're lying sick in a cave somewhere. Such freedom. You don't have to worry about anything. So I think a very good cure for depression. Certainly a cure for the lay life. <laughs> it's just a joke, you see, because when you become a monk, you are no longer a lay person. So it's a cure for the lay life. Yeah.